Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Um, this time around, what I've gone and done is I sold everything that we had for equipment, uh, mostly because I want to clean up the rest of these shorts, and then I think I'm going to call it on this map because I have a very exciting new map that I want to start working on. So, um, I'm not sure how many episodes it's going to take to clear up the rest of this. might be just one, maybe two, just to finish up. I might just try to get as many loads as I can in this episode. Might run a little bit longer just to finish off um, this map for the time being. And then maybe one day we'll come back and revisit it in the future, do some more uh, some more fun on it. But it's fun to change it up once in a while because, you know, we all get bored of playing the same map over and over. So hopefully that will be something we can do. Uh, let's see here. So I'm just going to load up these shorts to uh, hopefully finish off the rest of this. And like I said, I don't know how many loads this will be. It's quite a bit of shorts, so um, it might be a couple loads. might just be the one. We'll see how much uh, time we get and how much inspiration we have for loading these up. I do definitely like uh, loading short logs. I think it's more fun than uh, doing longs. It's a little more finicky than doing longs. Longs are pretty straightforward, you know. You just throw them on there and they pretty much settle nice. Shorts, sometimes you got to be a little bit more playful with because shorts like to argue with the way they go on the load. <laughs> and sometimes they poop out on the angles and the sides. And actually, we'll put that this way. We'll put the butts to the back on that one just to kind of balance it out. There we go. There we go. Beauty. Now, I'm going to try to get as many on here. Oops. As many on here as possible simply because I would like to try to get all of this out in this episode if I can. And once that's done, we can move on to the sweet new map that I'm really excited to uh, show you guys. I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh man, we're getting a little ambitious here, but we'll just throw it on there and see. What do you think? I think we should... Uh, Maybe try to compress that a little bit and see. That's a little, well, that's a bit better anyway. Not a lot better, but a bit better for sure. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this guy ahead. I'm going to lock it up so it can't run away on us. And maybe pull up just a little bit more. Probably about there. That's probably a good spot. And we'll just keep piling it on there. It seems to be what we're doing. It's working out pretty good, so... Uh, let's see here. Straighten our camera out so we're all happy. I'm going to grab this row in front of me here because I'm going to need some room for my tracks when I walk ahead to grab the rest of the pile. So you got to always think ahead about stuff like that. Not like that's too hard to comprehend. Not like a mad skill, but always try to take from the bottom of the pile in front of you so that you can keep walking. I've just The reason I say that is I've seen lots of guys in... Uh, YouTube videos because I actually go watch lots of other people's YouTube videos and watch them load and stuff It's because it's fun for me um, And other people who play this game a lot of them will make these big piles like this But what will happen is they'll go um, and just start pulling from the top and the back all the time And then they I find that they can't reach the rest of the pile and It's a really simple solution, but I think a lot of them just don't know any better or can't figure out why and then they start running over their logs and firing them off in distances and so if you can, try to keep it all on the straight and narrow. Try to clean up as you go. Clean the top, then the bottom, top, then the bottom of these big piles. But you know what? You just do it however it works for you. I'm very unjudgmental. At least I'll pretend that anyway. <laughs> I'm human. I don't judge other humans. Come on now. Where'd you ever get that from? Uh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, what I might do is kind of try to squeeze this out a little bit there. Oh, come on. Maybe if I tip it this other way. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. And we kind of have a little bit of a pocket there. So now when we grab this one, we'll want to do butts to the back of that one because that'll be easier for us. Definitely easier for us. This is going to be kind of an ambitious grab, but 
What if I butt it on the other trailer? I haven't tried that. I've seen it in lots of videos, but... Oh, not bad. Not perfect either, but that's alright. So we'll do butts to the back on this one. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> it's kind of almost exactly how I wanted it. Uh, do, 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 do. See, in this case, <clears throat> excuse me, in this case, now I would start taking the top one. It's a big, tall tower like that. Definitely. I don't want many because I'm just going to kind of sprinkle some in this little hole here, and that should be good for that one. And we'll go like this. So, what I'll do is I'm just going to drop these two. That one at top's a little funky, so I'll see if we can wiggle it back here. Oh, it's like a longer piece, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, maybe we'll just, uh, I'm just going to let it sit ahead a bit. <clears throat> maybe it'll mesh with this other uh, pile better. I don't know. We'll see. If I can just squeeze this one up a little bit, should just lock that one in. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to relock and move ahead again. And we definitely have enough for one more load for sure. So we'll get one more load out of this episode. I didn't turn my timer on, so hold on one sec. Uh, we're at six minutes. We'll set our timer now. It might run longer than 15 because I do want to clean up this block as I want this to kind of be the last episode for this this map. I was going to do some more chip loading, but that's uh, something we can do in the next one for sure because we're going to have a lot of chips on the next one, so I think that'll be fun. And we'll grab this. Try to... Try to get a hold of these. I see I got a lot of little guys in here, so be kind of an interesting backload for it. Butt them up here. There we go. Getting towards the smaller stuff. We got all the big stuff on that first load. I remember when I made it, I kind of put the big stuff to the front, so it was a little bit nicer. That's okay, we'll get her figured here. But this one up too. Beautiful. I'll tell you, there's one thing I love, it's loading. Oh, loading's my favorite thing to do in this game. Especially in multiplayer. I don't know if you guys have been watching the multiplayer episodes, but, uh, well, by the time this comes out, there's probably ton tons of new ones, but, um, yeah, it's been really fun. I really love having other trucks kind of come in and loading them up and having just kind of like a circus race of loading. It's really fun. Changes things up a bit, too. I just wish the lag was a little better in multiplayer, because we get some pretty bad lag on stuff. It's kind of annoying. Too many trees down, too many things going on. But you know what do you what do you what do you do? High production logging. I'm trying to do it on multiplayer. What do you expect? Uh, try to dig out of this pile a little bit here. Let's try that. Beauty. All right, let's try to get this one on here, and I think that'll be a load. Ah, beauty. Look at that. I love when it all lands nicely. <clears throat> when it all lands in a nice spot. Alright, so, lock that up. Carry on our wayward way here. Now, because I accidentally sold everything, <laughs> I accidentally even sold the trailers that we had all those logs attached to, so there's these nice piles of logs here, which still look neat, but not really what I had in mind. <clears throat> so, we're going to try to uh, maybe meander these in here. And then we'll grab another log trailer and go back and try again here. There we go. Okay, let's grab another log trailer. Hopefully we can go back and clean the rest up. We'll make one mega cleanup load with this one. This will be fun. Oops, I spot another truck. What am I doing? I'm trying to buy a trailer.
Now we're just gonna have all these trucks laying around just hanging out, partying it up. There we go. Alrighty. Now in the next videos that we're gonna do on the new map, I'm gonna try a different kind of loading that I've never really done before. So I've done a little bit in multiplayer, it's been really fun. But um I don't know, I think it'll be interesting. Gotta change it up, man. We have to uh try some different stuff. Can't just keep logging the same way all the time or it's just gonna get boring, so we'll have to uh change our way. And I'm all about that. Alright, so let's whip this bad boy around, see if we can get it backed in here. Oops, we want to go the other way. Uh oh. Oh my god, I can't believe we almost high. Oh, jeez. What's going on here? There we go. See, the game glitched itself back to normal. I like it. Thanks, game. I'll park probably about here. Should we get? Should gonna turn this light on because we're kind of getting in the shadows here a bit. So, scoop some crap from the top. Oh man, we're in a really uneven spot here. This whole area has been uneven. I remember trying to uh, balance our machines out. It's been kind of ugly. Alright, so we need to definitely butt that one up because that's an ugly load. Nice grab though, look at that. Oh, that's a good old grab right there. Like I said, now we're kind of getting into the smaller stuff, so the, the loads are going to start to get a little finicky here. But that's okay. Usually find a way to balance them out. I love how this thing picks up. Such a great loader. It's definitely by far my favorite loader. I mean, look at that. Look at the beautiful uniform grabs. Oh, actually, I'm going to do butts to the back on this one, I think. Just because it kind of looks like it's leaning towards the... Leaning towards the back there. So let's kind of even it up a bit. We will slide this bad boy. <clears throat> See my loader's rocking around like a, a rocking chair here, so that's always fun. Let's uh, see if we can scoop this in here. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, Billy. What's going on here? There we go. Beauty. Okay. I think we're going to keep going butts to the back. And then maybe on the last one we'll do butts forward just to kind of make sure it's all nice and even. And I don't really like the way that one's settling there. One thing. The bigger the logs, the easier they settle. The smaller the logs, the more crazy they get. Whatever. I'm just going to throw a nice new wacky load on top of that, and we should be good there. A lot of big stuff on the bottom here, too. So we'll grab a load of the really big stuff here off the bottom and sprinkle that on top. I don't know how much we'll get on there. Probably this is, probably this is way more than enough, but we'll see here. There we go. Right on. I'll look up a bit here because we're kind of below our load. And then hopefully when we move the truck up, we can kind of balance out our spot a bit better. We're still wiggling around quite bad. There we go. Oops, well. Sure. That looks good. <laughs> Why not? Now let's get off this weird angle we're on that's making us be all tippy here. There we go. Now we might even get another load out of this, eh? I didn't think this pile was all that big, but apparently... Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to do my best to try to clean this all up in one grab. Or one, uh, one more trailer here. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, Captain. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's grab this one. 
I think the top will be the better one for sure. There we go. Yeah, look at those nice, beautiful base logs. I think that'll be fun. Clean it right up. Oof, those are a lot bigger than I thought they were. <clears throat> this is going to be a really close cleanup load, this one. In fact, I think I'm going to run out of room. Oh, man. That's too much. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Too much. Oh, looks like we dropped a couple there. I see one. It's all right, though. That's okay. We'll just leave them in the bush where they belong. Back in their natural habitat. Beauty. Oh, man. I really want to get all of these right here on that bunk. I'm going to try. I guess even if we have, like, uh, some of them on the bottom of that back bunk, just kind of as a base, that's probably not a bad idea to you. Uh, actually, let's do butts to the back. There we go. There we go. Now she's good. Just kind of shuffle them around all nice so they kind of fall into where you want them. See, it's still kind of leaning to the back, so <clears throat> these ones that we grab will be all butts back. So actually, I'm going to leave three here, or maybe four. I don't know how many wide is the back bunk. So I kind of want a base for the back bunk, so let's build our back bunk real quick while we're here. So, one. Two, three. <clears throat> I'm going to grab these two right here on top. Might be four for a bunk, I'm not sure. Let's grab three and just see how we land. Might be three, might be four. We'll see. Yeah, four. See, then you got kind of a nice base for the other trees to sit on. So when I throw all those tops on the back, now it's going to have this really solid kind of uh, structure-y frame for them so they can just lay on top of it. You see there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. So what I might do is just kind of carve out a hole in the middle here so that if anything does slip through, it'll go in the middle, not in the, um, not in the outside. I'd rather have the little stuff go into the middle, into a hole, then I would have it go on the outside because the outside's bad. We're going to throw this last one on top of this one. I'll do butt back. Fill this little hole right here that I can have been staring at. Oop. Oops. Not that hole. Wrong hole. <laughs> uh, that one. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to go back in, lock it up again. Now we can have some real fun loading on these crazy shorts. Actually, there's still lots of room on that one. So if I run out of room, I can only sprinkle more into that uh, middle bunk. But we'll see how the back goes because we might have enough room. We'll see here. Now, these ones, because it's an angle, I'm going to kind of get a little funky. I might load them kind of partially from the back here just to kind of straighten everything out. There we go. That looks good. There we go. Bloop. Oh, that was not a good grab. I should have let it. If you're penciling, make sure you oops, make sure you let it go down and grab at the base with your claw. So you try to grab at the tip, they don't uh, they do not settle well, I'll tell you. So now that we have this nice base, see how they'll probably slip through that little hole in the bottom? Perfect. That's just what we wanted. Kind of build a little base down there. Oh, but you know what's happening? Because the load's locked, they don't settle very nicely. So sometimes you got to unlock it. That way those logs will wiggle um, around and won't get stuck in there. There you go. Then it makes room for the other logs to land in there. Whenever you're dealing with tops, there's always going to be some abnormalities in the, uh, the way they fall. But should be okay. I think we got her figured here. Another big scoop out of there. Now you can pencil them either way. I usually like to pencil the base, but you can also pencil the tops too. 
Because then the base comes to you, kind of, while you're reaching out, so. I think you got some abnormal sizes in there as well, so. I'm going to load it this way on this one, just to kind of even it up. Because this is where you're going to start to see some real strange taper in your load. Because the pieces are so small, the butts are a lot more dominant, so they will uh, kind of lift up. Oops, they'll lift up either side a lot more than... Uh, using those big ones the big ones while you cut them they're pretty uniform like uh, straight across they look pretty straight they don't taper off too hard but on these little guys it goes from like a fine pinpoint to like you know the size of a beer can or more width so that's when you start to see some real uh, real interesting stuff happen if you don't uh, butt your ends up properly on the load they'll just go everywhere Thus, why nobody likes to uh, really load tops onto anything, which is understandable. It also helps when your loader is nice and steady for loading stuff like this, but we don't really have that option right now because we decided to load on the crappiest bench in Benchtown. There we go. Okay. And we're almost done our pile. Done our pile and done this map. At least done this map for now. We'll probably eventually... I, I can almost guarantee eventually we will uh, come back and do this one again. It is definitely one of our uh, more favorited maps for sure. The new one's going to be really interesting. Either I'm going to love it or I'm going to hate it. I haven't decided yet. I mean, either way, it's going to be fun to log. And uh, I'll be introducing that in multiplayer here eventually. So that'll be fun. I've also gone back and redone a whole bunch of the uh, old maps, so those will be ranking a remastering visit here. Like uh, the old Emerald Valleys and Smoky Mountain and all those good ones, so that stuff's all going to be coming out. I don't know when, but uh, whenever it gets to the point where it's ready to be released. Pretty much done, just got to do some testing, had some issues with some trees and stuff like that, but oh man, I can't pick up the little ones. That's what happens, it sucks about being on an angle because the claw doesn't want to catch it. So you gotta be just ever so gentle in your grabs and hope it pops into the grapple. All but that one, that's okay. We can go back to that one if we really feel like it. I'm not even gonna butt this one up because I think that one will slide. Yeah, nice. Oh, that one didn't go really where I wanted it though. Perfect. Oh, man. 10 and 2. We got this. I really want to get this last one. One way or another. Oh, man. She's playing hard to get. It's just because it's that weird angle. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. Oops. It's like part way into the ground, but not into the ground. So let's bring it up here. That's a good way to do things. There you go. That's how you do it right there. That's how you do it. Okay, so, boom. We got it. That's it. We loaded it. Got her done. This is Mr. Short Log episode. This is crazy. It's a lot of shorts we moved there. So I'm going to bring this guy back to home base. Lock it up, and that's we're gonna put a stick in. Oops, we're gonna put a stick in this map for a while. And hopefully, next episode we'll be on to the new one. Dun dun dun. Let's see if I can back this in there. It's my final, final reverse stall park here of this thing. Don't mess it up. beauty so there we have it over our episodes I think we actually ended up bringing more but over our episodes we bought this many trailers worth these were trailers like I said but uh, not anymore so that's quite a bit of wood hey I think we did a pretty good job cut down a lot of forest helicoptered out a lot of forest this has been a pretty sweet map um, like I said this is Kodiak River this one's a, a very nice little map lots of little hidden gems and fun places to go so um, yeah, give it a shot, test it out, 
I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, it will be either really close to coming out or it should be out by now. So I think you guys are going to have a blast on this one. Uh, coming up here next episode when we do it, um, this map won't be part of the series anymore. So we're going to switch back and forth between uh, Frostline and the new map. And I might even throw a third map in there if I get it done the way I want. But either way, we'll just kind of keep introducing stuff and do some logging in different methods. And I think it'll be fun. Try some stuff out. Anyway, guys, we've run this one a little long, but thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.